Lakes Territory, a traditional meeting ground, gathering place, and traveling route to the Cree, Salto, Blackfoot, Métis, Diné, and Dakota Sioux. We acknowledge all the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. Hello everyone, my name is Clara, and it's my pleasure to be introducing you to this year's 2021 Nelly Talks. So, what is Nelly Talks? Nelly Talks is a virtual video series made to empower young women by having strong, independent, and impactful female speakers from all different kinds of backgrounds speak about their careers and experiences. This event is hosted by the Nellie McClung All Girls Junior High Program at Oliver School. This program, All Girls Program is a junior high that focuses on the empowerment and develop, um, the development of young women and establishing leadership skills in all those attending the school. This marks the 25th anniversary of the Nellie McClung program, and we want to celebrate that milestone with some special alumni speakers. For the past several years, Nellie students have been organizing and facilitating our annual Power of Women event, or PAP. At this large in-person event, speakers and students had the opportunity to interact in person. Unfortunately, due to the fact of the COVID-19 virus, we are unable to hold this uplifting and inspiring event in person. However, we believe this event will still be an a motivational and an eye-opening experience for those watching. We are honored and thankful to have the opportunity to pre prepare and host this event and are proud to say this event has been primarily created by the Nellie Elba Club students. However, this would not be possible without the help from our teachers, staff, and the Nellie Elma Klung Educational Society who helped make this event possible. Without further ado, we'd like to present our first speaker in our very first Nellie Talks event. Thank you. Hello to all the girls at Nellie McClung School. My name is Karina Birch and I'm here to talk to you about what it's been like to be an entrepreneur, a CEO, what is, what is a CEO, a business owner, um, and share with you my story. So I am the CEO and owner of Rocky Mountain Soap Company. Rocky Mountain Soap Company is a company that's in Canmore, Alberta, right in the mountains next to Banff. And we make 100% natural soap and beauty products right here in the mountains in our own little workshop. And in addition to all the cool products that we get to make, like bath bombs and bath salts and lotions and soap, uh, we have 13 retail locations across Canada, most of them in Alberta and a number of them in Calgary. So maybe you've been into one of the stores. and. Yeah, so that's me. We have manufacturing and we have retail and it's all about ingredients and products and creating customer experiences. And I am at the top of all of that. So what is a CEO? That's my title, Chief Executive Officer. What does a CEO do? Well, a CEO is responsible for managing the growth of the company, the strategy, the product development, the marketing. The manufacturing, the accounting, the finance is really overseeing everything. And so as a CEO and as an entrepreneur, you develop these skills in many different areas, but you're never really the expert in any of them. You're wearing multiple hats and you have just enough information in all of these different areas to be able to guide the company and make decisions. And every day I'm making so many decisions or I'm asking other people to make the decisions and, and trying to keep the teams happy and excited and jazzed about where we're going in the future. So that would be, in a nutshell, what the role of CEO is. And I have to tell you, I've been the owner of Rocky Mountain Soap Company with my husband. We've had it for 21 years. I was 24 years old uh, when we got into the business. I was six months out of university. And that's important to tell you because when I graduated from university at the University of Alberta, I graduated with a business degree, but I had no experience. I mean, I had so much education. I loved learning, but my experience up to that stage was waitressing. And I'm not really sure that you can waitress, you know, for five or six years and then be qualified to run, run a business, but that is what I did. And I have to tell you, when you become an entrepreneur, when you come a, become a business owner, I really relied on my naivety and my lack of experience. I really think that it gave me an advantage because 
Had I known all of the challenges and all of the obstacles that would be put in front of me, I maybe wouldn't have done it. You know, it would have seemed too hard and I wouldn't have been able to maybe foresee all the fun parts about it too. So those early days, being an entrepreneur, being 24 years old, was very much just like opening a Christmas present every day and I didn't always like the gift, but it was like this new treasure every day and it's still like that. Um, as an entrepreneur and a business owner and as a CEO, every day is different. Not one day is the same and it's never predictable because when you're running a company, like I said, you have to have these expertise in so many areas and really the, every single challenge that comes up in the company rests on your shoulders and so you know that's you know one of the challenges of being an entrepreneur is that sometimes when you go to bed at night you have trouble sleeping because you're thinking about all the things that could go wrong or all the things that need to be fixed but the thing I love about being an entrepreneur is the freedom that I have because when you're in control and you get to make those decisions you get to make cool decisions like do we want to take six months off as a family and travel Europe and have a break and really spend good quality time with our kids? Do we want to take a long weekend every now and then and do something special in the mountains? Maybe do an extra camping trip or do some skiing. And so there's really a, a lot of flexibility in my schedule. I have a lot of control over what my day looks like and I really love that part of it. Plus, if you like to create, if you like to Think about how to build something, a company or product or build customer experiences. Uh, maybe you are suited to being an entrepreneur or a business owner because I find myself, you know, almost like an artist and a creator. I need a lot of curiosity. I, I need a lot of creative thinking to problem solve. And, you know, it keeps me, it keeps me excited and it keeps me entertained and it keeps me engaged. Like I said, every day is so different. So I talked a bit about some of the challenges of being a CEO and an entrepreneur and a business owner. I talked about the things I love, which is you know feeling like I'm in control and, and allowing to set, you know, being able to set my own schedule. Those are all great things that come with being a business owner. Um, but I want to talk to you about what interested me in the beginning because sometimes I get a lot of questions around you know, how, how did you get started? And if I want to, you know, if somebody wants to start their own business, how do they, how do they start to do that? Well, my one, I have one piece of advice for you that I think is very important. So I hope you're listening. And that is the best time to become an entrepreneur is in your twenties. And the reason, or earlier, I mean, you could become an entrepreneur today. And the best part is that there's no risk. You don't have a mortgage. You don't own a car. You're not taking care of children. There's just, there's no response. There's very little responsibility you have. And so the risk of, of starting a business that, that fails is very low, right? You, you still get to come home to a house with food. You know, you're under the care of your parents. And when, when I was 24 years old, you know, while I was living on my own, my expenses every month were very low, so I wasn't spending a lot of money. I didn't have these things like I mentioned, a mortgage and a car. And so to take the risk of starting a business is the right time. And as you get older, as you get into your 30s and 40s, and all of a sudden you have a mortgage and a car payment and a family, it becomes harder to you know, maybe quit your job and transition into being an entrepreneur. So I think that is really important to know. You know and then becoming an entrepreneur or a business owner, you know, for me, you know, my husband and I, we, we bought an existing business. We walked into this little soap store in Canmore. It was uh, a store that had just been open a year and we bought it. It wasn't making any money and we put our heart and our soul into it and really kind of grew it into a much larger business today. And so, you know, I think, you know, lot, most entrepreneurs, I'm not sure they buy an existing business as much as start a business from scratch. And I would tell you that, you know, at the stage we bought the business, it was, you know, because it was so little at the time, it hadn't been open very long, it very much felt like a startup. And so I can speak to you about that experience, about what does it take to do a startup, to start a business from scratch. And I would tell you that 
it's you need to be able to create a, a cushion for yourself where you have a period of time where you can focus on your business and somehow your expenses are taken care of so what we did because Cam and I were partners and you know finding a partner is a one way of doing it so Cam had a full-time job and he was able to support the both of us while I worked in the business for the first year to get it going and then after the first year when we knew the business was able to make a, a small income for ourselves then Cam quit his job and joined the soap company and we started to run it together ever since then and that was like I said um, 21 years ago so I hope this gives you a good idea of you know a bit of a sense of what it's like to be a CEO an entrepreneur and to run a retail company um, it's certainly uh, amazing I highly recommend it if you think that what I'm telling you about sounds appealing uh, it really is just an amazing amazing journey and I've learned so much and I have to tell you as much as there's been lots of challenges, especially during COVID. I remain committed to being an entrepreneur and a CEO and a business owner. It really is fantastic. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you a sense of maybe what it likes, what it, what it's like, and uh, I hope you learned something.